Hello and welcome, my fellow CMT members from around the world. My name is Tyler Wood. I am a CMT charter holder and serving as your executive director and CEO of this magnificent organization. Welcome to September. I hope you are enjoying the uh, the back to school season in the fall, at least for those of us in North America. Uh, but I wanted to keep you posted on a tremendous amount of activity that is happening uh, within the community and within the industry. Obviously, everybody's eyes yesterday were on Chairman Jerome Powell. Uh, but to help us all understand what's going on with a Fed cutting cycle and what that means for markets, I saw many of you taking to social media, taking some time out of your day to offer a little bit more responsible approaches, uh, perhaps less bogged down in the narrative of what it means, what it implies, and instead looking at the data and what the markets are telling us both historically and currently about this current cutting cycle. Uh, it's tremendous to see how many CMT charter holders have uh, incredible insights and very helpful perspectives for investors writ large, whether we're talking about institutional or private wealth management. Uh, I, I thought it was a fantastic day for many of you to contribute, and thank you very much for doing so. Um, just to, uh, to keep you aware of what's going on within your organization all around the world, uh, we publish a monthly magazine called Technically Speaking. If you haven't checked out the latest September issue, by all means, uh, hit that link below. It's right up on the website. And we've also been producing this as a PDF, so you can share it with colleagues, clients, friends. Uh, they don't even need to log into the website to, uh, to view these articles. What I found tremendous was that the core mission, the values of this organization since it was founded in the late 1960s are alive and well. None of that has changed. Just like in markets, uh, things evolve, but human emotion and behavior still drives uh, supply and demand relationships. And our toolkit, uh, while it evolves, is still resting on some of these first principles. So what are the first principles of CMT Association? Uh, well, uh, Dave Keller has used this quote uh, several times over the last 15 years that I have known him. Uh, whether it's an African proverb or a Rudyard Kipling uh, poem or perhaps a uh, early 1917 stump speech. But the concept is, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, you go together. And in this month's issue of Technically Speaking, we hear from John Kolovos, who's the vice president of our board of directors. Uh, and it's an incredible story of how much he has gained from this organization. He'd probably still be grilling octopus in his parents' restaurant had he not found a path into uh, Wall Street and uh, the financial services industry. And he's gone on to do incredible things on his own right. But that community and that network, the mentorship, people opening a door and helping him, taking him under his wing is really powerful to see. And now as an established practitioner, uh, John is giving back to this community. Yes, uh, also with the guitar uh, and, a, and a creative musician as well. But the idea behind this organization, the, the why of what we're doing has not changed at all. That if we all support each other in this community, if we extend a little time to post something on social media on a big Fed announcement day, if we spend some time to mentor a young person, do some guest lecturing at a local college or university, uh, any way that you want to give back time, even just connecting with each other, taking that phone call, hearing somebody out, uh, maybe comparing notes on how you're uh, managing the wealth of your clients. Those are powerful connections and uh, they lead us all to greater success collectively. So uh, from this issue of Technically Speaking, there are a couple of other items that I wanted to point out. Uh, we have formed an academia committee worldwide that is governing our academic partner program, our investment challenge, some of the research and publishing that we do through the Journal of Technical Analysis, and they are hard at work. Uh, a, a group of board members, volunteers, professors, uh, and advisors from universities all around the world. I know I've mentioned our academic partner program several times, but it's a passion project, and it's really exciting to see now over 70 universities worldwide participating in that APP. Uh, I, I probably take three phone calls a week from professors or deans of the School of Business uh, to explain to them about how technical analysis works perfectly well alongside fundamental analysis. The tools are complementary. There's no longer such a barrier uh, between our discipline and what, uh, what has historically been taught in higher education. 
Instead, the industry has embraced technical analysis in a way that uh, perhaps our founders never could have even imagined. But that underdog spirit need not go away. In fact, it's more important than ever that we stand up for professionalism, for ethics, and to help everyone distinguish and separate what professional technical analysts do from perhaps the uh, get-rich-quick schemers that you might find on, uh, on the internet. Uh, and there is uh, a new guru born every day to expose folks to irresponsible, irrational exuberance and uh, get-rich-quick schemes. What we're doing with the students in the Academic Partner Program is offering subsidy and scholarship into the CMT program. So level one, while they are still undergrads, we're also giving them practicum education. So an investment challenge that runs in the fall and spring semester twice a year, powered by Optima. Thank you, Matthew Verdau, for an incredible uh, piece of software, tracking leaderboards, uh, measuring how these students are doing in running their portfolios in live market data, uh, but yes, of course, paper trading. And what we're doing in this academic partner initiative is preparing the next generation so that as our founders uh, had to deal with, there was a lot of resistance to technical analysis as, as voodoo or somehow lesser than other forms of investment analysis. We are making sure that the next generation is prepared, that they understand the breadth and depth of the subject matter. It's not just a trend line or two, but rather macroeconomics. And we're looking at cross-asset relationships and we're looking at volatility and variance. We're doing a lot of back testing and quantitative methodologies around our trading strategies, looking at signal testing for how those indicators and those studies come together to create the rules for our investment management discipline. It's powerful stuff. And your annual membership dues are driving a lot of this activity. So thank you to everyone who has renewed uh, their membership. If you haven't been a member in a while, by all means, uh, come on back. We'll put the link below. Uh, we welcome you with open arms uh, to help us support this advocacy initiative worldwide. So uh, the Academia Committee is hard at work and we are delivering value to students and professors all around the world, uh, week by week, day by day, and semester by semester. I also wanted to draw your attention to chances to get together. September has been full of events all around the world. Uh, some of my great friends, Nick Roper, Tom Robinson, Robson, uh, Sunil Garg, Rami Rashad, and others were speaking in Dubai at the DIFC Academy offices in uh, on Tuesday, September 17th. We've also had events in Chicago. Uh, we had our, our own Jeff DeGraff giving of his free time to uh, head out to Northern Ohio and take a small group meeting with uh, with Kevin Pietrick and uh, the crew out there. Thanks, Jeff. And uh, I know those who are ranked number one by II for more than a decade probably don't need a small CMT community gathering. But Jeff has given back. And that's, that's what drives this organization forward. So uh, thank you to all of our speakers and to all of the attendees for those live events. If you haven't been to a live meeting in your town recently, don't worry, we've got some large scale events coming up in 2025. And this one in the September issue, we are announcing the Midwinter Retreat. This was a long standing tradition for the organization, a chance to get together in a more intimate and relaxed setting than perhaps New York City or Boston or Chicago would offer. Uh, and we're meeting in Florida, January 16th and 17th. Yes, we're, uh, we're aware of seasonality. And in fact, it's a great time to get out of the Northeast or any cold weather climate and join our friends in uh, in Florida. Eric Case, a uh, board member and a, a close collaborator, has helped put together an incredible lineup of speakers. We're going to be at the Tampa Club on Thursday and Friday, January 16th and 17th. The good Dr. Kelly Corbier uh, is coming down to talk with us a little bit about her research. Andreas Klanau is coming over from Geneva. Uh, we've got an all-star lineup of, uh, of speakers and experts. But most importantly, the audience at these events is just as powerful as anyone taking the stage. Uh, so be a part of that conversation. Join us and, uh, and, and be a part of the Tampa Midwinter Retreat. Uh, we also have uh, a number of activities that are happening both in person, but also virtually. Our Women in Technical Analysis group uh, recently got together with Susan Berger, uh, who wrote a great book 
uh, about her experience as a portfolio manager at Fidelity Investments. Uh, I hope you all check that out. Razan Hilal, a freshly minted chartered market technician out of Dubai, uh, wrote up a great summary of that book. And you can read the, uh, the shorthand here in Technically Speaking or link off to uh, her longer review of that book and some of the key lessons uh, that Susan shared with, with our women of TA. Um, <clears throat> we also have uh, that investment challenge that I mentioned for the students. A uh, lot more information. And if you are uh, connected with your alma mater, if you are guest lecturing at a university uh, nearby, by all means, please uh, join us in bringing those universities onto the Academic Partner Program. Talk with those students about the practicality of technical analysis, the value of these tools in asset management, and let them experience it firsthand. Um, and finally, if for those of you if, who want to give back to this community, there are so many publications and ways that we are developing continuing education, helping folks who are new to technical analysis understand some of these tools. Uh, Shane Murphy wrote a piece for our daily newsletter, Chart Advisor, uh, around market profile. So maybe you're a 50 year veteran and you studied with Peter Stegelmeyer in Chicago when these uh, tools were first being invented, or maybe you've never heard of market profile. Uh, we are catering to a very diverse uh, audience. And uh, sometimes these back to basics concepts and these tools can be really powerful, even for those of us who are uh, veterans of the market. So thank you, Shane. Uh, what a what a great, uh, great friendship that sprang out of a cup of coffee in Syracuse, New York about five years ago. Uh, congratulations on uh, moving through the CMT program and becoming a uh, investment advisor. All right, folks, uh, check out a lot of the great content that is on our website, recent webcasts uh, from Javier Pineda, from Ralph Vince about that Dow award-winning paper. And for those of you who've been working on your own research, Submit that to the Dow Award Committee uh, before December 1st, and uh, we'd love to put you in the running for the 2025 Charles H. Dow Award. All right. Uh, last but not least, my dear friend Frank Capillary was our guest on Fill the Gap last month. We recorded in August. Uh, Dave Lundgren and I uh, love getting to talk with you, our members, about your investment practice, about your career on Wall Street. And uh, hopefully for all of you who enjoy that podcast, you're sharing it with your colleagues and clients and friends uh, and uh, helping us reach more of the uh, investment industry. So that's it for me for right now. Thanks so much for, uh, for joining and uh, checking out this short video. If you are still on the fence about whether or not you want to sit for your CMT exam in December, I am talking to all of you candidates. Uh, we're in the last 10 days of the standard registration period. Uh, get that registration in before September 30th, before the prices go up. Save yourself a few bucks and uh, dig into your studies. Um, I've been chatting with the uh, CMT candidates every week, Thursday mornings for uh, some open office hours. And that has been an incredible experience for me. Uh, there's, there's no better way to solidify uh, what you had been learning than to try to teach it to somebody else or explain or answer uh, questions for those who are uh, in the path on the program. And uh, for those of you who would like to engage in uh, some more instruction and give back and, and teaching and mentorship, uh, there are so many opportunities. You can reach us, admin at cmtassociation.org. And until next time, take care of each other and trade them well.